that up there. And we'll get some bleeds going on these yahoos. Should probably... No, don't do that. Oh, this isn't good. Uh, club, quick. Club, club, we're gonna die. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21. This is the Dead is Dead series. This is Day 2, Life 1. So uh, we are picking up uh, right where we left off in the last episode. I've just kind of hung out on top of the roof here and uh, waited till morning. So we're going to start off, first of all, by getting our food back up. So we're going to consume uh, this vitamin here. And then we're going to eat these four sham sandwiches, which is going to take 20 uh, points of health away from us. But um, we're going to do it anyways because we need to, we're going to just take advantage of having those to get our food back up. And then we, like I said, we lo lost some health there, but hopefully we can recover that. And let's also uh, drink this water and that should top our water off. Uh, but that leaves us with no more water. But uh, the goal for today is to go through the, um, as many of these POIs as we can. Um, and then uh, hopefully we'll find a cooking pot and also some more water in the vat process. Uh, we also have this job, too, that's uh, 869 meters that direction. Um, so, yeah, it looks like that's back over more towards the lake. But I think what we'll do is we'll worry about that later. Um, the thing, the thing is, those doing the job uh, will get us. You know, a lot of times the the early rewards that the trader will give you is water. Uh, so I don't know. We'll let let's just um, let's just start by working the the POIs in this area first um, because we we need a cooking pot. we so I think that's what we'll do. Okay. So that being said. Let's come around the corner here. Um, I'd like, I'd like a little more. Um, <laughs> we just hit hit Arlene right in the noggin. Uh, I'd like a little more stone. What is that? Uh, club crafting. Good. Yeah, we definitely need that. So, uh, but you know, actually, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, in here. Where did she go? She must have gone down into the riverbank. Okay. So we have a ladder there. Let's try and open this SUV without attracting anybody's attention. Okay. That we're going to take and sell. Because it's not really doing us any good right at the moment. There's someone right outside the house here. I don't know. Okay, let's check these two trashes. Pumpkin seed. Uh, we want the pipes. I uh, don't care about the pumpkin seed right now or the leather, though. Let's see if there's anybody hiding out on the other side of here. It does not look that way. Okay. Now, I think what we have to do with this POI is go up through the attic to get into the house, which we're not going to do because that's going to be dangerous as all get out. What we are going to do is break this rung here so that we can jump up here and use that to escape zombos from down below let's just poke our head up here yeah see we got a nurse nancy zombo right there so i think what we'll do is let's repair this close it hmm. right. well that woke her up but if she's not gonna Try and break the hatch. I guess we won't worry about it. That's her upstairs, right? 
Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about Arlene walking around out here in case we have to get out of the house and skedaddle. So why don't we kill her? Oh man, this bow sucks. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's get away from her a little bit. Get a little steam in the back. Oh, we have a we have at least one point to spin two. There's a zombo over that way. It's a Tom Clark. Uh, let's go here. And I like I said, I'm gonna put this point into knives because I just have a lot of confidence, I guess is the word, in using knives in the very early game. Uh so with Dull Blade, we inflict up to three bleeding wounds or two with power attacks. Uh, every attack refreshes the bleeding. Enemies run 10% slower while bleeding, so we slow them down by 10%, so that in and of itself is super useful. And then reduce uh, stamina costs and find more bladed weapons and parts of loot. Okay, so, yeah, I think that was good. Um, let's also deal with Tom Clark as well. Uh, don't think I'm going to take those right now. Ooh, we got a spider zombo. Shit. Yeah, I don't, hmm, I don't really want to mess with a spidey right now. They're going to be a little harder to deal with. Don't mind trying to kill Tom Clark. That spider's going to be a pain in the ass. But I just kind of like all the zombies outside of the house to be um, out of the way. There we go. Okay, well... I re yeah, like I said, I really don't want to mess with a spider right now. I mean, we could kill him. Oh, shit. Well, so much for that. <laughs> I didn't even see that guy there. Let's get a bleed on him. Okay. We'll just try and dodge him and keep our distance and let the bleeding do the work for us. What is this, like the day of the spiders? Come here, you bastard. What? Okay. I guess that wasn't too bad. Um, Maybe we should just do the same thing with this bastard then, too. Get a little bit of a sneaky sneak off on him first. All right, come at me, bro. Come on. Let's do this. This is why I like the knife so much, you guys. We'll let the bleeding do most of the work for us. See? Look at that. We already got another point. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, what are we going to do with this next point? Um, I think... Uh, let's look and see what our options are. We got Lucky Looter, Salvage Operations, Penetrator, Infiltrator, uh, Demolitions, Deadeye. Nah, I, don't th I, think, I don't think we're going to do anything in those trees, right? Or that tree right now. These two would be good. 69er. Archery. Yeah, I think we should do archery next. Based upon, you know, what's going to... Benefit us the most here and now. Okay, good. Oh, okay, that's the upstairs zombadoodle. Why don't we actually let her come get us and kill her too? So, because this attic kind of gives us a oh shit, uh, kind of gives us a, a potential refuge. Refuge. Okay, we gotta be careful. Our health is down to 42 now. Ooh, we got a rattlesnake. 
We'll kill that guy for some meat later on. Mm, this is not good. Take one of these. We can't die. Dying is not allowed. Oh, we got you too? Okay, get you on the ground. Get your bleeding going. Did we kill Jiggly? We must have killed her because she's not coming after us. There we go. Okay, I want to kill this snake because meat. Where'd it go? Snake? There was... We just had a snake over here, right? Where did it go? Hello? <laughs> it just disappeared. It's like completely gone. Damn it. Okay. Let's grab these blocks. Okay, enough frickin' around. Let's get in the end of the house and get our thing going here. Okay. So, what we need to do is we need to get into the kitchen ASAP. Because uh, we need to see if we can get ourselves a cooking pot. Um, let's see. We are wearing these already. Those are worth 50 coin, though. So, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, we're going to use the... Uh, no, we're not. Never mind. We can't use that. That's right. As long as we keep something in here, then we can keep several things in here. So, let's store a couple of things. Anything that, you know, we're not immediately using. And I do have a couple of spots on my toolbar, too, that we could put a couple of things to even save a little bit more space. Okay, cool. All right. Now, I don't remember if there's still more Zeeks up here or not. There probably are. So let's just see what happens. All right, so we've secured the attic. And we've got a, a thingy over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, I recognize this house now. I know exactly which house we're in. I guess I, did, I just didn't recognize it at first. Let's put that down there just so we don't accidentally... Fall down. Okay, we'll take that. That's worth 72 sale price. I guess we'll take those two things too and we can consolidate them with the other stuff. Okay. Um, there's usually some Zeeks inside of here. That's an Egger. But. Well, here. Let's just wake him up. He's not going to be able to do anything to us right now. There we go. We killed him. Okay. Um, in this room, in here, is the fat loot. Let's see if we can punch a hole in there and grab it. Um, I think there's a Zeke on the way into this room, but uh, let's just see what happens here. A duck bill mod. Okay. Not super useful to us right at the moment. We got an ammo pile here. Again, more stuff that we can just sell. Let's break this and carefully peek our head inside. Yeah, I don't... I don't think there's a zombie up here, but I think there's one below that hatch there. I could be completely wrong about that, and we might uh, get our ass kicked, but uh, nice. And we'll take the 
Yeah, we could actually stand to take that right now. Well, okay. Let's very carefully poke our head in here. Okay, I think this room's clear. Close that. And uh, let's also upgrade this just for good measure. We'll check the trash. The working stiff box. Ooh, look at that. <coughs> Nice. Um, that's worth 50 right there. And then let's check the fat loots crate. Chicken soup. Yep. Let's take it. And then some more stuff. These we could wear. And we'll take the rest of that stuff to sell potentially. All right. Good. So we still need to get down, though, to... the kitchen um i think the game expects us to just drop down there and i'm not sure though that if we do that if we'll we'll attract the attention for more zeke so we're gonna do this differently yeah we just woke somebody up okay so we'll consolidate a few things into here and uh, the garbage pile there. And then we can make some more iron arrows. I'm trying to decide where that, what that's almost trying to break. I don't know. Okay. So, let's do this. We'll make ourselves a door to replace this door with. put the damn thing the wrong direction. Well, actually, you know what? That's fine. Let's just do it this way then. Okay. Let's get a sniper doodle up on this one. Let's get a bleed going. Or two. Or three. Or four. She's dead. Okay. Bleed on you. Out of stamina. And she did. Okay. Good. That worked out pretty good. I know there's going to be Zeke's down in that basement, but what we want to do is get to this kitchen. Okay, we got some sham, which we're going to eat right now. Okay, we'll take that. Now we can do boiled meat and yucca juice. That's nice. Um, sure, we'll eat that. Actually, you know what? Damn it, I didn't need to do that right now. Could have waited, but okay. It is what it is. And there is no cooking pot in here. Well, I don't think we need to worry about zombos in here. Uh, there are some shoes here, though. Not as good as what we have, but we can sell those. Um, did we look at this trash here? That's all we get. Okay, 
Um, I, I'm, I can come back here later and get that leather. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do it right now because I would really like to um, get ourselves a, a cooking pot. I think that's like one of our highest priorities. Um, and we can store stuff in here too. So I know I kind of have shit all over the place, but that's okay. That, those I want to keep with us. Um, those I might actually end up selling. Okay, let's go. Let's go check this house next. Specifically targeting the kitchen. Uh, shots to the leg with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. Super useful. Trying to see if I can see any anybody in advance in here. Let's repair this door. I'm gonna block that. You know what? I think I, I'm familiar with this house, too. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, I don't see any visible cooking pots. There's a zombie closet right there. Let's repair this. Tom Clark, huh? nobody in here. Come on, cooking pot. That is not a cooking pot. That is chicken ration. Good. Okay, we will we'll save that. We don't need to eat it right at the moment. Look at all those cooking magazines. Well, it's a little bit of coffee, which isn't doing us any good right at the moment. Let's poke our head in here. these cupboards. Some corn and seeds. The cooking magazine. Now we can do pumpkin and bread and blueberry pie. There we go. Uh, definitely rather wear the nerdy glasses than the others. Nope, don't want that shit. Look at that. I kind of doubt, though, that that's going to be better than a blue level knife. Let's see. It is, actually. Yep, it is indeed better. Okay. We'll still hang on to this, though, because... <sighs> what is this? That probably requires a repair kit. Uh, whereas this is going to be a lot easier to repair. So we're not going to get rid of it. We are going to get rid of that. We're going to scrap this. Okay, well, we could we could continue clearing this house, but I don't think we will. We uh, we still need to get that cooking pot found. That's like most important. So it's not likely we're gonna find one in the garage there. So let's move on to the next house. We can do this house next. The Goldsmith Residence. Alright, where does the game want us to go in? Oh yeah, this is the house that's got the underground um, the underground thing in the kit in the dining room. Uh, where the floor collapses. Still no honey. Is 
Isn't there usually a car in this garage? No, there's a repair kit. Good. You know what I think I'm going to do? Just just to save space, let's just use it right now, and then we can repair the Kniffy all the way. Don't want that shit, by the way. Don't want that shit. Don't want those because they're really easy to come by. Um, Search the shelf. Uh, sure, we'll take both of those things. Wow, a wrench. Fantastic. We'll take it. Uh, these, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll take those. I'm not sure why though. <laughs> well, I guess the, the reason why we'll take them is because we can't make them until we get a forge and who knows how long that's going to take. And the garage storage box. Nice vehicles that we're going to leave right where it is. It's not doing us any good. How about uh, giving us a nice iron pickaxe in here? No, but that's a nice improvement on the shovel, uh, on the axe. And sure, we'll take the yellow shovel too. Why not? All right. We're just going to go in far enough to get into the kitchen. Uh, there's going to be a zombie in that closet there, almost certainly. Okay, so much for being almost certain, right? Okay, we just woke up. Two of them. You know what? Let's close that door behind us. Probably going to be one more Zeke in the dining room, but we might be able to avoid aggroing them. We'll see. Check the toity. Okay. Um, we got stuff over here. Sure, we'll take that stuff. Another pupper coat. Dang. All right, well, we'll be able to sell one of them. Or a cornmeal. That's good, because we can make cornbread. And okay, that goes downstairs. I don't think we'll get the attention of anybody up here. But just in case... But there's usually a Zeke in that closet right there. Yeah, it's a Darlene. Okay. Did she fall through the floor? Nope, she didn't. Look at that. All right. Yeah, that's the one that leads down to the underground area. Ugh. I just wanted to get up there to see if that drawer was lootable, but it is not. Okay. All right. I don't see a cooking pot, but... Damn it. Game's going to fight us tooth and nail, isn't it? We'll scrap that. Um... I don't think I'm going to eat that now just because um, we don't have anything to drink at the moment. And I'm not going to hang on to that paper either. How about a coffee? No, but it was a water. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Um, I think we're going to take this now to save the slot. We need the food. We need the hydration. And there you go. Okay. That was a good find. Even if we don't find a cooking pot, that was worth the price of admission right there. And let's try this cabinet. 
think that's all this place is going to give us. Alright, that's all we're going to do. I'm not going to bother going upstairs. Let's move on to the next place. We're systematically clearing this place out. I'm going to put a few things in here. We're going to have shit all over the place in this little town. <laughs> but I'll, I'll consolidate all of it later on. Um, I don't want to get a chance to put that in there. All of that stuff can go in there. Okay, let's check this place next. Uh, batter up. Do 10% more damage with clubs. Nice. We will take it. Um, let's deal with Yo here. So he doesn't become a thorn in our side later on. Come at me, bro. Play there. Okay, let's go into this rundown ramshackle place here. Grab the wood. That's not lootable. Oh, we got a doghouse. Shit. That's never a good sign. Okay, uh, let's just see what happens here. Again, we want to get to the kitchen. Okay, we're out of iron arrows. Glad we found this knife. Very helpful. It's already noon, damn it. Damn it, Jim. There's the kitchen. Possible zombo drop on our head. Of Darlene, right there. Very good. We got another skill point. All right, what are we going to put that in? Let's see. Um, what's going to benefit us the absolute most next? Parkour would be good. Fortitude. Huntsman insulated living pain tolerance would be good. Healing factor would be good. Iron gut would be good. <laughs> it's all really good stuff. Uh, if we go intellect, there's a zombie outside eating somebody, and start putting some points in this, um, well, we can get books for getting forges and that sort of thing. So I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. All right, there is a zombie really close by. It's Edgar. Well, he's far enough out to where, to where I don't think we need to worry about him. Okay, let's hit the kitchen. Come on, cooking pot. Damn it. Come on, coffee. Now, that's, I meant like coffee that I can drink like right now, coffee. This game is not cooperating with me, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this kitchen was a bust. Uh, let's poke our head in here. What's in here? It's a bedroom with a zombie closet. What's in here? Oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it! The second time I poked my head through a door and there was a Zeke right there. 
and we lucked out. Okay. Oh man, it's not lootable. Well, this one is though. Oh, very nice. Dang, look at that. Okay. All of this is really good stuff. We will take it. We will take it and we'll like it. Beautiful. And hey, even more. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay. Are we encumbered? Nope. We pick one more thing up, though, and we will be. Are there any bookshelves in here we could loot? Another zombie closet. Um, you know, let's, you know what, let's just put oh, our head in here real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do is... getting Edgar's attention, are we? Okay, we'll check the drawer. The nightstand. Um, I think we're just going to scrap those. Oh, look at that duffel bag or sports bag. There we go. So, I mean, we're, we're getting reasonably decent stuff for early game, but we're just not finding what we need the most. No surprise there, right? Okay. Um, let's deal with Egger. Shoot him in the leg to slow him down. Oop, we missed there. Let's give him a, a bleed. Well, that works too. Well, all right, let's just, we got two more houses to check. Let's just do it. Let's get her done. Well, no, actually, we got three more houses to check. Or four, if we go further down the road. We'll try this one next. The McMillan Residence. Done this one a few times. I think this one's, yeah, we go in down below. Um, let's see, the kitchen's over there. All I really care about right at the moment is the kitchen. So. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just do this. I'm going to do that, though, so we only have one place for them to come. Let's block. No, not there. Yeah, let's block that. We don't need to worry about downstairs for the moment. I really hate that stupid lighting thing. In fact, um, there's a mod that I was using in my last playthrough that disabled that pumpkin pie that's it man okay I know there's a dog in this house so we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with the no damn dog right now let's check this place next What is that? Uh, oh, seed crafting. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, we got Darlene over here. Okay, she did. Um, I think 
this house, I think the kitchen in this house is over here. I don't remember what's in the garage. Let's poke our head in and take a quick look. It's a workbench in here and a jiggly. Beautiful. Okay, let's check the workbench. Okay, that's reasonably decent stuff, I guess. We'll take the electric motor to sell. And we'll take that, too. We don't need the rest of that stuff. We are getting encumbered, too, which is not good. Is there anything that we don't need? We don't need that. Let's eat these right now. Well, you know what, though? Can we make blueberry pie or... Yet, we can, but nah. Let, let's just let's just eat these to get rid of them and give ourselves four things of food, which isn't a lot, but you know, whatever. I think what I'm going to do with these bones is repair this, and then we'll chuck the bones. We really don't need to carry a chrysanthemum around. That's so easy to get. Uh, we don't need the paper. We don't need the iron. So that lightens us up a little bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. Um, we're at full health, so we don't need to take that aloe cream. Um, okay, let me think. Yeah, the kitchen, I think, is in that corner. So let's um, just break through here. Doesn't this floor right in front of me collapse, too? Damn it, Jim. Come on, yo. Stuck. See, I don't know if there's anybody in this kitchen. Um, and I'm pretty sure this collapses. Or maybe not. I thought it did. It doesn't if it's got 500 hit points. Okay. None of those cupboards are lootable. We do have a suitcase here, though. With a beanie. Let's pick that up and scrap it for leather. Yep, and a Marlene in the corner there. her. Come on, Marley. Don't blow the car up. Come to Papa. There we go. Okay, so that clears the kitchen, I think, right? Yeah, it does. All right, let's see what we get. No actual coffee to drink. Um, I think I'm going to pass on that stuff there. Come on, cooking pot. We're going to be able to make every freaking recipe in the game before we even find a, a cooking pot. Or so it seems. Come on, stove. Oh, you bastard. Yeah, the, this is bad, man. I don't think I've ever had this much trouble. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have had this much trouble in this game fighting a damn cooking pot in the past, but not recently. That's nice. Um, eh. uh, you know what? I'm leaving all that shit there. Wait, do I have the nails on me? I, yeah, I do. Okay, I might as well at least take those, right? Okay. Um, 
so I mean I don't know what else to do other than continue doing what we're doing the other thing I suppose we could do is just screw this and go do the the quest and sell a couple things at the trader and maybe we'll luck out and find the cooking pot at the quest or actually does the trader can we buy a cooking pot from the trader I think maybe we can well I'll tell you what let's just it, check this house night stalker bows do 10% more damage at night and um if we don't find the cooking pot in this house then I think we'll just go do the trader's job Okay, let's check this place. This is Joel's house, the Hunic residence. Okay. Um, again, let's just put a few things in here that we don't need right at the moment. Uh, we could eat those again if we had to. But we, you know, we actually have some food, so we're not doing too terribly bad on that. And I'm just going to have to remember to come around and hit all of these mailboxes before we go see the trader to get all the shit that we've been sto stowing. Okay, let's train cheese back to iron arrows. All right, let's check Joel's house. Uh, I don't remember if there's a Zeke in here or not. There's two Zeeks in here. Hmm. Good, we just got one of their attentions. Bastard. Okay. We also have Yo. Come at me, bro, yo. Yo, bro. He did. Okay, I'll check the toolbox. And the toolbox. And the destroyed battery bank, which has nothing in it we want. Cooler. There we go. Uh, let's see if there's anything behind here. There sure is. Don't give a shit about that. Uh, we'll take that and that. Okay, so. Close pile. Turn that off. Nope. Do we still need... What do we still need in the way of clothing? We need a shirt. Oh, you know what? Didn't we have a sweatshirt? Could have actually put that on, huh? Didn't think about that. Uh, and we need a hat, too. We have the beanie hat, but uh, the BDUs are better than the denim pants, so I'm just going to scrap those because they're just not they're not worth that much money. Okay, let's not go through there. Again, I just want to get to the frickin' kitchen. Shoes are not lootable. I don't know if the kitchen's upstairs in this house or not, so I guess we're going this way after all. Yeah, it's probably around that corner. Or what's in here? Stupid. 
steel arrowheads. Put that up there. And we'll get some bleeds going on these yahoos. Should probably... No, don't do that. Damn it! Oh, this isn't good. Uh, club. Quick. Club. Club. We're gonna die. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Oh, shit. I should have popped that first aid kit, but... Ugh. Okay, well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is... <laughs> that is life one. Um, <coughs> what we will do is... Um, uh, we'll, we'll just Let's just start over on this map again, because we didn't have a... We didn't make enough progress for it to, to matter. Um, so I'm going to delete this game. We'll start a new game. Uh, and again, like I said, we'll continue on this map and have some more fun uh, with Life 2 of Dead is Dead. Yeah, the, in, you know, in hindsight, I should have popped the first aid kit because, you know, we might have managed to kill Tom Clark before he killed us. But it doesn't matter now. It's too late and we're dead. <laughs> All right. And we're going to also wrap up this episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll see you in the next episode with the start of Life 2. Bye-bye.